Hey, how y'all doing? Crooky Joe here, and we are playing our first episode on Farming Simulator 15. I did pre-order. Um, wasn't sure if it would run on my computer, and I am running on medium settings. Um, I ran it on, just testing it out a little bit, I ran it on low settings, but I didn't like that it didn't have any shadows, so I tested it out a little bit on medium, and it seems to work okay. Um, so, let's get started. Let's, I reset all the vehicles so that they are here at the farm. So here's what we have. Cultivator, um, some Deuce Far tractors, which is which model, I don't even know. The Agrostar 6.61, we have two of those. Um, front weights, we have two of the Hurleyman H488 turbos. Um, what else, there's two of those. And uh, Cedar, Pottinger, Vitasem, 3OD, ADD, um, a header, and a Comia Sampo Rosenlu Combine, which is our starting combine. And I know you guys have already probably seen this on multiple, and here's a plow, um, multiple um, first videos that have come out. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, the map, key number 9, um, we own fields 24, 29, and 38 and I think that's it. Um, field 29 is planted in wheat so we need to get started. I'm not going to do a map tour because everybody's been doing map tours. Alright let's get this guy. Oop, wrong way. That guy's really fast. Another thing that has changed is um, cruise control 3 the button you push to drive forward, but number one can lower your speed like an ESL limiter, and number two can raise your speed. So right now, if you look in the lower right corner, I'm adjusting my speed to five miles per hour. Press three to move forward. Whoop. It's a little tricky to get used to. Okay. So we're going to head over. Let's go ahead and unfold the combine key X. And I want to enable straw swath with the comma key. Now as we're driving we can adjust our speed as we drive. So I'm going to adjust it up to say 8 to 10 miles. Let's go 10 miles per hour. And we'll head out. I'm sure that everybody has already watched multiple first videos and you know where all the storage is and what's going on. How do I get out of here? Let's see. I haven't done much yet, so I don't know where things are on the map. I do know that there's a field out here with weed on it so far, so. So we're just going to get started. Not waste any time. Uh, gonna be kind of hard to get used to these uh, speed controls. Okay, we should be halfway lined up. Okay, let's hire the worker. And away he goes, and let's take a look at this. One thing I do like about this, um, let's go in cab, is that, uh, well, I can't really tell there, but the wheat, oops, I want to enable straw swath. Do I have to stop to do that? Um, I thought I enabled straw swath. Was that? There we go. Higher. There we go. Um, that the uh, header animation is a lot nicer. And the straw and stuff like that is a lot nicer. Another thing, too, that I've noticed and just, you know, playing around a little bit is that all the vehicles get dirty. So you can buy a. Um, pressure washer which is a placeable and wash your vehicles um, another thing I did notice going up and down hills that the vehicles do slow down it does put a strain on the vehicles and also I think the horsepower requirements for the implements comes into play on this new 
game. Um, so if you're trying to pull like a massive cultivator with the smallest tractor in the game, I don't think it'll work. Um, what else has changed? The, way the um, small map always stays in place in the lower left corner. Key 9 brings up the full map, and everything is labeled, which is nice. It's nice to have to know exactly where everything's at, so it's not quite a uh, guessing game to where you're going. Um, another thing too, the HUD on the I key is now just a full screen informational thing. Everybody's probably seen that so far. So on this first overview, you have your weather forecast, your news, um, your finances. Next is your fruit types and how much you have in storage and then your prices are right next to that and you can scroll back and forth on the prices with the arrow buttons. Um, vehicle selection has your map where you can actually pick um, your vehicle. You don't have to actually find it on the map. You can actually just click here on the right to the vehicle type to either enter or reset the vehicle right here and then the map view for growth and fruit types. And next is the animals. All the animals are on one screen. Sheep, chickens, cows, which are the standards. So that's nice. And what is it all? Does it take water on this? It doesn't do the water, I guess, on this um, new game. <clears throat> okay, I think that's good. So. This is field 29, which is wheat. We'll get it going. So let's go ahead and get a tractor set up. Let's just get one of these smaller Hurleymans. Let's see, let's lower his speed before we hit number three because it'll just take off. Another thing, too, is the uh, wheel tracks show up in the dust, which is nice to see. Oops. little bit touchy. And I noticed too, I think that the uh, attach icon is a little bit uh, more touchy too. Let's see, which way do I get the weights? From the other side? That figures. Let's see if I can sneak this one. I'm using the W key right now just to try to get over here without well, let me get it in this. Crap. Can I get in there? Push him out of the way a little. There we go. And let me switch that back to the... Okay. Let's go down here. Let's go out to the field. I've noticed too that the actual um, reactions of the vehicles, they seem like they have more ground presence. They seem like they have more weight or something. You can see that this tractor... How do I get out of here? Okay, over this way. You can see where the combine drove. You can still see the wheel tracks. I think they disappear over time. Of course they should, or else you'd have tracks running every which direction. Um, they do disappear, so that's kind of cool. Um, what was I going to say? Another cool thing is you'll see when we unload this combine, um, the grain or fruit types actually fill up the trailer um, where you're unloading. So you have to, I don't know, I don't think you have to move back and forth with the combine to unload, but it is kind of cool how the um, weed or whatever you're loading piles up in the corner of the trailer or front and back of the trailer, depending on where you have the auger set or positioned. So, okay. wait here. Let's go ahead and go back to the combine. Let's try out this vehicle screen. I haven't really messed with it too much. Let's see if we can find it. So we'll go the other way maybe. There we go. Enter. There you go. I have the sound, sound in game turned down to 10% so hopefully it's not too loud.
Oh yeah, it's a nice looking combine to start out with. Um, doesn't seem to me that the maybe the grain or the uh, field textures or the ground textures are that much different as far as the crops and the field surface. But uh, I guess that's okay. I'm sure that the mods will be coming out before you know it, different textures. I did download from the um, official website, there's like four, four mods already for this game. Um, there's a baler, a slurry tanker, um, what else was on there? I'm trying to remember. Two other things. There was a bale trailer and what was the fourth? I just can't can't remember off the top of my head. But it should be in the purchase screen. It should be under Do we have a mod section? I'm still trying to get used to this. Well, let me look under balers to see if it went into the actual... Let me look in the baling technology. Maybe it went in here. Yeah, I think that's the... Is that right? No. No, it has to be under something else. Let's see. Where... Do we have a mod category? Here we go. Um, yeah, one was a sewing machine. It was the um, Kuhn Cetera 3000. That was in the mod section on the uh, official site. So, a baler, bale trailer, um, slurry tanker, and a cedar. The first four. Those are on the official site. One thing I have noticed in just messing around a little bit um, is that I miss course play already. <laughs> and the GPS mod. Alright, so he's at thing too they have a lot of things floating around in the air so I'm not sure if that's like whatever leaves I don't know here in Kansas we have a lot of cottonwood trees and so we have a lot of white cotton looking stuff floating around in the fall so that's what it reminds me of I'm gonna stop him at, here at the end just to unload him let me go ahead and tab over this guy and then we'll sh I'll show you what the uh, particles look like for the um, crops it's hard to drive and then try to lower and raise your speed at the same time you end up getting all wonky okay so look the uh, grain unloading looks kind of cool and as you can see in the trailer, the um, grain is piling up in the front corner there. So, looks pretty cool. And jump back in the combine. Once he's unloaded, we'll go ahead and rehire him. I'm going to have to turn him around though. He lower his speed so I'm not shooting out across the countryside like a jack you know what yeah, I really do like those tire tracks looks pretty cool all right so yeah you can see the, the weed is piled up in the corner of the trailer all right jump out of him Yeah, it's a really, really nice looking map. A lot of nice details. And I'm playing on medium, so I don't know what it would look like if it were in higher, very high settings. I'm not even going to try to do that on my laptop. 
I'm just surprised it runs and I'm actually be able to record off of this so overall I have to give them a thumbs up I'm really happy with the way it looks I um, haven't played through much yet I'm not going to try to cheat in any money I'm um, playing on easy to make it easier to um, advance but I'm not going to cheat in any money um, I did that with Farming Simulator 2013 when I first got it and I think it takes some of the enjoyment for me at least out of the game so Heck of a lot nicer than having a Far M66 to start with, let me tell you. Alright, so this is just basically a first short episode just to get started. Um, well, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you so choose, and uh, we will catch you next time. Take care.